It's obvious Red Bull is the team to beat in 2024. But according to data unless Red Bull is sandbagging, the competition is closer to Red Bull this season than at the start of last season, and if Ferrari, Mercedes, McLaren and Aston Martin get their development race right throughout the rest of the season, Max and Red Bull won't win all races but it's hard not to envisage Max and Red Bull winning a fourth world championship in 2024. That's how bulletproof Adrian Newey and the RB20 are. Now let's look at what Formula 1 analysts have put as the pecking order. 94% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So please, and please, kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps in YouTube algorithm of growing and promoting the channel. Red Bull is clearly miles ahead of everyone else, the RB20's one lap pace has been improved compared to last season. Red Bull on qualifying was usually outpaced by Ferrari, now according to the data, Red Bull looks like it has worked on its straight line speed considered that they struggled all last season on straight line speed. Red Bull and Max Verstappen are the team to beat this season. Ferrari looks to have an upper hand on Mercedes, McLaren and Aston Martin. Ferrari's biggest weakness in recent years has been tire degradation and race pace. But both of those aspects were their strengths in testing compared to everyone else, Leclerc said it is quite a lot better than last year's car, one of the main weaknesses was the wind sensitivity. Leclerc continued on to say whenever the wind would change a tiny bit, our car would be extremely difficult to drive with huge differences in terms of balance from one corner to another, this year we are in a much better place for that. That's definitely a step forward. We worked a lot on it and had confirmation already from the first days of testing. That puts Ferrari in second place in the pecking order. Mercedes-Benz has totally changed the car design and concept from a zero-side pod towards Red Bull's concept, which appear to have earned unanimous approval from Hamilton and teammate George Russell compared to last year's car. The feedback from the drivers is very different and more positive, which is encouraging, Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin said on Friday. The team has worked hard to iron out the handling flaws that were integral to the W14, and it's great that we seem to have put a number of those problem behind us. Hamilton said, we've got a great platform to build on. Now it's a development race throughout the season. McLaren comes in fourth position, and it looks like they have hit the ground running and very close to Mercedes, with the limited testing time for McLaren due to technical problems in Bahrain last week, it was hard to compare the one lap pace and long run pace to other competitors but, it's neck to neck McLaren and Mercedes. Aston Martin takes the fifth position, as Fernando Alonso consider the Bahrain testing positive and the team feels they have taken a step closer to McLaren and Mercedes. Alpine comes in second from the bottom, in ninth position. From Bahrain testing, analysts constantly mentioned Alpine as the team that has started on the back foot, Alpine power unit last season produced the least horsepower of all the teams, Alpine team is playing catch-up. Sixth position's contender is RB, Racing Bulls team which appears to have cleared the bottom four team Sauber, Williams, Alpine and Haas leaving RB on its own island ahead of the bottom four teams but behind the top five teams. Sauber team leads the bottom four teams, Sauber has built a car that is heavily inspired by the RB19 but if Sauber technicians have pulled off the impossible, they may even be closer to the top than we expect. Williams comes in third from the bottom, with Williams it seems they are focusing most efforts on the future performance of the team in improving their car factory, building a wind tunnel. So much is going into those efforts. And the last team is Haas, the American owner team was dead last in 2023, it going to be hard for the Haas team to move up, but the management has made changes in the team including the team principal. Gunter Steiner's contract expired in 2023 and wasn't renewed. Promoting Haas's trackside engineering director Ayo Komatsu as the team principal. And more is expected from him, whether it takes Haas forward, that remains to be seen at the end of the season.